Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. We've landed on Friday the 13th today, so if you're scared to walk under ladders or let a black cat pass you by, you better stay indoors today. You never know, your hair might fall out. Or your teeth. We have sales going out and we're not going to start changing the programme today, so let's kick off with the vintage stuff. The Rip Curl wallet has gone for a steel price of £30. Sold it on Vinted, obviously, because we're in the Vinted section. I was going back and forward with this chap, and it turned out he just had to have this wallet. And I felt like I was obliged to make this mission accomplished for him. Make this mission accomplished for him. I felt obliged to accomplish the mission for him. We went back and forward. There was reservations. He was withdrawing funds from here, there, and wherever else. And he got it, not because he's broke or anything, but because he wanted to spend his vintage balance, I'm sure. Paid a pound from the charity shop, sold it for £30, all in. Obviously, vintage. So I get £29 profit. Could have got a hell of a lot more. But we're in the selling game, not the storage museum business. I had this listed for £4.21. pence. It's a punt. It's a Dulwich Designs jewellery holder. So you like you unfold it, you put your jewellery inside, your watches, your rings, whatever else, fold it back up. It's little bits of wear and stuff, which I've mentioned, of course. But I had this listed for £4.21. Adrian messaged and said, £4.22 sounds so much better. <laughs> Bless him. So I, I accepted the offer of a penny more and we got it sold. Thank you so much, Adrian. This chair has been spinning again. I had a notification this morning from DPD that they're expecting my chair. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is actually a... Weller or one of them big hair studio places. It's one of their chairs. Very heavy on the bottom, so you can't just move it and roll it around. You have to like lift it up. It's very well made. I'm gonna put it on marketplace for a tenner once it's once the thing's here. Get it gone. Sick of it. Sick of it. Martin and his wife now have picked up the Builder Bear 80 year anniversary Batman for his son or for their son. Paid three pound. I wasn't too sure about it. Took an offer on Vinted of five pound for it. So I made two quid. I didn't list it with the clothing because they're a bit bobbly. But I did say to Martin that I've actually got them. So I'm going to send them off to you as well. So you can have the clothing as well. A little bit of a de-bobbler over it. Be fine. I just thought it made the listing look a little bit janky. Quick in and out. We don't mind a couple of quid profit, do we? Martin, wife and son. Thank you. Super Monaco GP for the Sega Game Gear. This is sold to Richard. He left the message. He said, hi, Ricky, love your channel. Keeping it real. You say it how it is. And that right there is gold, mate. Long time sub, Richard. Well, mate, no point beating around the bush in life, is there? I appreciate your business, mate. That sold for £2.21. pence. Get it gone. Big up, Richard. Some more bargains now. Boris the Wolf from Bendy and the Ink Machine. There's loads of variants of this out there. Now, I don't know if this was an original or if it was a copy or if it was a third party. So I just went cheap. £5.98 all in. I got a message come through saying, A1 as always, sir, big love. So James, I appreciate this. I can see your username on there. On its way to you soon, my man. Sam has picked up the small builder bear. That and that are both from the same pickup, aren't they? If I remember rightly, you'll remember more than I do, guys. Sam has picked this one up for £3.21. pence. Been watching you for a while and just wanted to say, keep doing what you're doing, Sam. Big yourself up, Sam. I appreciate that. This was a strange but cool one as well. So I had these listed for, I want to say, £6.92. Something like that, little Transformer figures. I saw the average going price on eBay and basically halved the price. Because I want to move things on, do you know what I mean? I'm not here to, like I said, I'm not here to store it. I could sit and try and get maximum value out of everything if I wanted to. But I'd have a store full of stuff that just ain't selling. And I want to sell it. If I've paid less than something and I'm getting more than something, within reason, I'll accept it. However, I listed these. I've just been outbid on something. Damn! If, what was I saying? This is why, by the way, just ran out of iPhone memory. Now I've really lost my train of thought. Can't remember what I was saying. So, can't remember. Hasbro Transformers, haven't listed for about eight quid. Mr. Campbell sent an offer through saying, loving the content and would like to purchase these for one, two, three, four. So about 12, eight, four pounds, something more. If I had them listed for eight pounds, it's four pounds more. If I had them listed for six pounds, it's six pounds more. I can't remember what I was listed for, to be honest with you. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. But Mr. James, Mr. James, James. Very, very kind, very, very generous, and I appreciate it. For £13.25, the Ping Sensor Dry cap from the Snotty Cameron bundle. So we've sold 
most of it now. I think I've got one thing left, which is a Bulldog smoking a cigar head cover. I think that's all I've got left. Done really well on that bundle. And that is all for Vinted. So let me get that sorted out and I'll come back to you for eBay. Those ones are done. And now we're... <sighs> what is going on? Vinted done, now we're here for eBay. It's quite an easy one today, actually. Ollie over on Vinted, OD Kicks, Kicks with a Z, sent me a message on Vinted saying, love your channel, really wish there's something I could buy to support you, but there's nothing I want, basically, but keep doing what you're doing. Bless up for the message regardless, plenty enough. But then he's come over to my eBay store and said, finally, something that I want to buy. He has picked up the Oasis CD. This is the Arkid later release version. He said, Hello, Ricky, big fan of the channel. We recently had a chat on Vinted and finally I found something to buy. Keep up the good work, Ollie. So Ollie over at OD Kicks with a Z. I appreciate you, mate. This is sold for £5.69. pence. Sold them both now, paid 50 pence each. I knew they were going to sell quite fast, quite quickly. And if I didn't sell them immediately, the hype would be dead soon. Oasis, I personally think, fantastic. I love them. I think they're up there. I can sing most of their songs. And they're kind of my sort of teenage era even though it was the back end of does that make sense generation before sort of bringing in but if somebody gave me a ticket for free now would i go and see them no i'm not a super fan and they're not the oasis that the oasis was when the oasis mania was happening so for me it's not it doesn't bother me if eminem gave me a free ticket i'd go but it's the same situation do you see what i'm saying i'm a super fan of eminem eminem brought me up Another one of those Pally toys has sold. This is the Seeple Chase version. This has sold for £30 all in. Mental profit on that box so far. The little lovely French lady, £5 for the box. Ah, c'est la vie. Moi, petit pois. We've watched a lot of Only Fools and Horses recently. Monge 2, Monge 2, Rodney. <laughs> £18.99 for these PlayStation 3 headset ear headphones. PlayStation headphones. PlayStation 4. <laughs> Should we start that again? $18.99 for these PS4 headsets. Shit, I hope that was in the listing. And I haven't done that in the box. It's on the listing. Woo, baby! Here you go, look. See it? Little scratch on top. Scratch on top. Because normally I bubble wrap things like this. Obviously, I forgot to because the box was empty at the time. Now it's full again. They sold for $18.99. And that's all we've got for eBay and Vinted today. We're going to take a look at the charity shop in a moment. So I'll see you in a bit. I know a couple of people who could use those. Nice little vintage night vest. Okay now. Overloaded, man. Morning, petals. Oh, God, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, good, you're all right. Oops. No, no, you're all right, mate. And that's reduced to a 10. I think we'll grab that. These are cool, aren't they? Look at those. Steamboat Willer. 75 p each as well. Nah. Could be a quick double up on Vinny. Let's have a look at the other one. Knock, knock. Hello. Don't jump this time. <laughs> Can I look at the other one of these trainers, please? Yes, Messy buckets. And this is what I pop in there every single day. Look at these little booties. We didn't spend too much money, 27 quid I think it was, and I'll get that back just in these, or just in that, or just in that. That's how I like to do my business. New Balance 680 V5s. They are really nice. Nice little running shoe, really good condition. No runner's toe, no peeling, no nothing like that. £10. 10 quid. I'll flip them easily for a quick 20 on Vinny, or go for about 34 99 on the bay. I've got no idea what this is going to be worth. It's a nice silver tag vintage vest for £2. Vintage Nike, see-through, very Rabsy Nesbit kind of looking. It's got like, I don't know if you can see it from there, you go. It's all covered in holes. I don't know, it's just a little bit shit, if I'm honest, but got some potential because it's old and it's different and it's vest. Not vest weather anymore, is it? 
probably 15 quid out of that, I should imagine, all in. This is a pretty cool one. I've been eyeing this up for the last month now. It's been listed for £20 for the whole of that month. I even tried to get Sam to buy it. I was like, Sam, please buy it because I'm going to end up spending £20 on this. And it's just a little bit out of the budget for 20 But it's reduced today. So for £10, I don't mind picking it up. It's a drinking water filtration system for your tap. So where your existing tap is, you drill a nice little hole for it. We've actually already got a drinking tap from our sink, but we don't use it because it's manky. And I don't think anybody's topped up the filter for about two years before we moved in. And we've been living here for four years. Basically, you've got your existing tap here. You drill a space for this. The tap is actually in here. You put your new little drinking tap in, attach it to your filter system and connect it to the mains. Quite simple, really. And it comes with two brand spanking new branded water bottles. So you can fill up your water bottles and take them with you, which is quite a nice little pack. So it comes with the tap, two filters and two bottles. That's all in there. I'm looking at about £60 back on that. I'm pretty sure of it. I think the standard version without the bottles, you can get about 44 So I'm going to hope and pray for a bit more. But even if I get 40 out of this for a tenner, I don't mind that. And it won't last long either. Damn, back at it again with the £5 North Faces. I think the puffer was actually £8, but still pennies, isn't it, for what they're worth? We've got a North Face Apex soft shell jacket in medium. Nice little navy blue in immaculate condition. The condition is fantastic. It's legit aimut. It's real. It's a men's medium. And it was £5. Easy £35 back on that without even a hitch. No dramas. And I'll probably even ask 30 35 on Vinted as well. I wouldn't knock it down too much. But obviously, I'll probably do 30 On Vinted, what I always like to try and do is account for the fees, account for the postage, and then knock a little bit extra off as well on top of that. I don't try and match eBay. I try and beat it. Beat it. That's not a bad little pickup from the charity shop, is it? Look at the state of that lion's mane. See where I used to die before it's all like coloured through and just gone through. Oh dear, butter fingers. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da. Right.